Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Stefan. I know, it's been a while. You probably miss me, and you're probably wondering, wait, is this even the same person? I mean, it kind of doesn't look like him. I mean, he's got this beard now, and he's got wrinkles on his face, and his hair is so long. Oh my goodness, it's so long. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, so I got a story for you. This is going to be a good one. It's actually, <laughs> I got so lucky that in one day, I got two extremely interesting people on my train. Now, I know what you're thinking. Interesting people on a train? How is that possible? Aren't Japanese people always just quiet, mind their own business on a train? <laughs> You'd be wrong. So let's begin the story. It all started when I was on my way to work. I was going to Kawasaki to teach a lesson. By the way, I'm a, I teach English. Hashtag Eggle Tomato. EggleTomato.com. This train ride seemed like any other. Didn't seem like anything was out of the ordinary. I was just playing a game on my phone, minding my own business, when all of a sudden, a man stood in front of me and tapped me. Now, for a moment, I thought this was someone I knew, and I didn't realize it. I look up to see... It was a Japanese guy. And I'm like, uh, like what, 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 what's going on? I, but, 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 uh, help! So this guy had his hand out. And inside of his hand, there was... Hyakuen. 100 yen coin. And I'm like, is he giving me the coin? What was that? The man started to proceed to point to his coin, point to me, then point to him, and just do it multiple, multiple, multiple times. He didn't say a word. And the people next to me were looking like, what's going on? And now I had sunglasses on. I was looking at my phone and I was just staring at him. And I looked at the coin. I looked back at him. I was honestly, it just, it went right over my head. No idea what the heck was going on. And then at some point, I just stopped looking at him and I started looking by my phone, ignore him. And then he just kind of throws his hand and then just walks away. It wasn't until I got off the train that I realized he was begging for money. Begging for money on a train? A Japanese? <laughs> How interesting has the story become? No, I didn't give him any money. I didn't take his money. And I didn't even say anything to him. I had no idea what happened. So I just went to the JR staff. Kawasaki Station, I was like, hey guys, um, just let you know, there's someone just trying to beg for money on a train. That's it. Okay, bye. I'm going to go work. And, and that's it for, for chapter one of train stories. So, has that ever happened to you? Probably not. Only weird stuff happens to me. Like the next part of the story, when I was coming home from work. Now, in this case... The train was full. I was already sitting down. And the doors were closing. And this guy rushes on, talking out loud to himself. And he was saying in Japanese, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. And then he proceeds to go up to a woman who is sitting down in the train. And stares in her face like, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Over and over and over and over again until the lady just got up out of her chair and the man sat down. And he continued to talk to himself for a little bit until he uh, passed out because he just fell asleep on the train. But 
the dude was whacked out of his mind. Like, really whacked. This actually isn't my first time I have seen someone talking out loud to themselves. I actually seen it quite a lot. So this guy was not only just talking to himself, but he would just say the most random things to the people around him. And like, they just didn't make any sense. I want to mention also that before this guy actually sat down in the chair, he was also talking about a knife. And that got a lot of people spooked and paying attention to this guy. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something about forgetting a knife. I don't know. But it was weird. And so when he was staring this lady up close, I was just like, um, is this guy about to just go full on psycho and I'm gonna need to just... <coughs> Luckily, that didn't happen. And uh, he was just a little crazy. Everyone was really happy that even if he was a little crazy, he's just like every other Japanese when they get on a train. As soon as you start closing your eyes, they pass out. I don't know how they do it, but Japanese people have a very innate ability to just fall asleep on the train so fast. And that's it, guys. Those are my weird experience with people on the train all on the same day. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's bedtime story. Hope to guys see you again next week or very soon. Good night, guys. And as always, This is probably too creepy. Yeah, even I'm creeped out by this. Yeah, this is makes this just looks kind of it doesn't look like nighttime. Good night, Woody. Good night, poo poo. Good night, Minyonyon and Piggy. I'm an adult. <laughs>